At the Super Bowl, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. <laughs> Great piece. Very cute. Very yeah, well people, people, some people have no idea. Yeah. They'll find out when they hit traffic now. <laughs> You're <laughs> right about that, but then they'll be still wondering, what's this? What's this feel like about? 559 right now. What do you say we look at the stories we're working on for a whole new hour at 6 o'clock? Right now, we're just an hour away from a South Beach shutdown. Officials are getting ready for a stream of Super Bowl fans. And anyone heading down here today will definitely be hitting traffic, ocean drive, ready to go for all the partiers that are expected down here. I'm Yusela Ramirez. We'll show you a lot more coming up next. All right, Yusela, as rough weather causes dangerous conditions in parts of the country, our weather watch takes us to the heart of the mess. Hi there. We have some whipping winds of our own, but at least they are warm for now. We'll talk about that. See you back in a minute. All right, a new hour with more news, weather, and traffic, and half the commercial starts <coughs> right now. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News This Morning. Six o'clock on the dot. It's Thursday, February 1st. First day of February already. Good to be with you this morning. I'm Danielle Knox. And I'm George Estevez. Let's head right to Pamela Wright and find out what it's like outside. Hi there. It's just fine, really. It's pretty breezy at the beach, and uh, Usilla has been our uh, anemometer out there this morning. All right, 66 in Opelika this morning, 68 Miami at the airport. We have warmed up quite a bit this week, a uh, good 20 degrees or so. And the winds, well, they're really just beginning to build and are especially breezy at the coastline. We'll all feel them stronger as the day goes on, and they will be warm winds, so mild to get us going this morning, but we look out into the Gulf of Mexico, we see a warm front, and that's that leading edge of the warm air on the way. So that's what we expect. Temperatures are going to continue to go up over the next couple of days. Now rain is coming down and it has been a freezing drizzly rain across uh, Mississippi and Alabama and into Georgia. Then quite a bit of snow even north of that. So travel across the country certainly could be impacted there. Certainly chilly throughout the deep south, but what about the hometown teams? Well, they're happy to be here for a lot of reasons and the weather part of it. These temperatures actually fairly mild in Chicago and Indianapolis, close to 20, but a lot of blowing snow this morning. So blowing sand is the roughest thing they'll deal with today. 82, our high temperature, and we go up from there for tomorrow, so I'll tell you about it. All right, the roads this morning, any Super Bowl effects? We'll take a look. Hey, Mark Henry. Hey, good morning. Not a whole lot of Super Bowl traffic out there just yet, but hey, that's going to be coming on Sunday. I'm sure those roads are definitely going to get a lot busier. Now taking a look at 95 north and southbound, right around the Golden Glades Interchange. Southbound lane's not doing too bad, though we're starting to see a little bit more activity. Uh, northbound lane's getting by without too many problems at all. Now, we do have a problem right now reported Hollywood Boulevard westbound at I-95. An injury accident um, has been reported. Now, we're sending the chopper to take a look at that. We'll have some uh, updates for you in just a few minutes. But, uh, again, Hollywood Boulevard westbound at I-95. We do have reports of an injury accident in that area. Also taking a look at 95. North and southbound right around Cypress Creek here. Northbound lanes doing just fine. Probably going to be slowing down a little bit when you get closer to Atlantic and Sample. But other than that, got a pretty smooth commute for you. Southbound lanes doing okay. If you're getting closer to Commercial Boulevard, you're going to find yourself slowing down a little bit in that area. And also taking a look at the Dolphin Expressway eastbound and westbound right now. Well, eastbound lanes starting to show quite a bit more activity. Westbound lanes still getting by without uh, too many delays at all. Still pretty deserted out there. So we got a pretty easy ride ahead of us so far at 6 o'clock. I'm Mark Henry, CBS 4 News, Traffic Control. Thank you, Mark. 6.03, the time right now. We want to let you know we are following some breaking news. This news is coming out of Miramar this morning, where we are hearing about a police-involved shooting after a woman was apparently beaten in the area of 64th Avenue and 33rd Street in Miramar. Actually, Southwest 34th Street and 63rd Way in Miramar. We do have a staging area. Police do at 64th Avenue and 33rd Street. Here's what we know. This woman was apparently beaten up at a McDonald's on Miramar Parkway. Police responded to this scene, but that woman apparently was not there. She had made her way to her home, which was several blocks away. Police made their way there as well. A caller called once again to police saying that a black SUV pulled up in front of that home. That's when a man and a woman actually bailed out. The man turns out, pulls out a nine millimeter gun and fires at police. Police are forced to fire back at this man. They actually shoot him. He's in surgery right now. We want to let you know that the officer involved in this police involved shooting is indeed okay. Breaking news just coming into the CBS 4 newsroom. It's a story that we will continue to follow throughout the course of this morning. 
6.04 right now, only three more days until the South Florida showdown. Thousands are expected to flood South Florida as we get closer to the big game. And besides the crowds, hey, get ready for some serious gridlock. That's too. right. You know what? Probably less than an hour from now, the city of Miami Beach will close Ocean Drive from 5th to 15th Street from today all the way through Sunday. That's where CBS 4's Ucilla Ramirez joins us live with a look at how to get around the crowds. Ucilla. Uh, don't come down here, but of course that's not going to happen. <laughs> Tons of people are going to be down here and that's exactly what we want. We've seen crews here all week long and before that getting Ocean Drive ready for this massive Super Bowl party. So a lot going on down here. Motor Mo Motorola Mile will be open and ready to go. It pays tribute to the Super Bowls, past Super Bowls in South Florida. There are exhibits like an interactive football field, private parties out at Casa Casarina. We'll be live out there starting tonight actually. And then you you sprinkle in some celebrities and it's expected to draw huge crowds starting today which is why at seven a little under an hour ocean will be closed from 5th street to 15th and that'll go all the way till monday so all traffic will be rerouted to side streets and you know what that means it is going to be hectic i mean it's hectic when there isn't anything major going on so traffic will be slow and very steady all weekend long keep that in mind and if traffic gets too crazy on the side street police already have a plan in place to close eastbound traffic on MacArthur Causeway coming into the beach to do that we're going to help we're going to get the help of FHP as well as city of Miami and we're going to turn people around at Watson Island but we don't anticipate that happening they don't anticipate that happening, but of course they have been working on a contingency plan and all kinds of plans for a while now. FHP, the Department of Transportation and local police, because they know that it is going to get packed down here. So of course keep all that in mind and make sure you stay safe because that is something that police are also working on. Make sure that happens. That's the very latest on Ocean Drive. Ucilla Ramirez, CBS 4 News this morning. All right, Ucilla. What else is happening today with the Super Bowl? The NFL Experience opens at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Ocean Drive shuts down at 7 a.m. for the Motorola Mile. There's going to be more team interviews, which our sports team will cover for you. Plus, Heat star Shaquille O'Neal hosts his Super Bowl party, which kicks off late tonight. Be sure to tune in for our specials leading up to Sunday's showdown. We're live from Casa Casa Arena, the former Versace mansion on South Beach, tonight and tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And on Saturday, a special program at noon, plus sports. Zone Saturday at 7 will be live as well. Our game day coverage kicks off at 8 a.m. live from Dolphin Stadium. That's Sunday, of course. A list of all the Super Bowl 41 events can be found on our website, cbs4.com, where the news is always on. Make sure to check out our special Super Bowl section. At 6.07, let's move on now to a CBS4 exclusive. Police right now are searching for one of two women who stole customers' information from luxury car dealerships. CBS4's Tiffany Helberg has the exclusive. Infinity, part of the luxury class, expensive cars, but not necessarily the most valuable thing here at the Warren Henry dealership. Two thieves had their eyes set on something else back on New Year's Eve. Uh, when they first come in the front door, they were asked if they needed assistance. Two women posing as customers told the salesman they were already being helped and made their way around the corner into the employee break room. Again, the salesman approached to help. At which point she said that she did not. She was waiting on her friend who was using the bathroom. Somehow the women then walked back here, surpassing the employee's only private entrance. It's in this location where they jimmied open the, the files and broke open the cabinet and took the files. More than 260 files stolen with personal information of customers' credit card numbers, driver's license numbers, even social security numbers. The next thing you know, she's running out the emergency exit with a box full of files into this getaway car, which is a white uh, BMW with no license plates on it. The thieves sped off and warned employees gave chase but lost them. They contacted police and the Secret Service and, of course, the affected customers. We sent a letter out to those customers right away. We provide them with no charge uh, credit monitoring service for up to a full year. It's an unfortunate circumstance, but, uh, you know, we, we were a victim. Now, there is surveillance video from the day of that theft. We took a look at it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything of value that seems like it would help investigators. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News this morning. 609, let's get to a heartbreaking story now. An 80-year-old woman lies in a hospital bed now. She's badly beaten, and she's telling her story, hoping police will find the person who did it. Take a look at these images. They're painful to see. Wow. Virginia Coleman has a swollen eye, a gash on her chin. You can see the bruising. 
Coleman walked in on an intruder last week in her own house in, Pe in Perrine. The 80-year-old had just returned from church when she was attacked inside her own home. Pretty unbelievable. I have no idea what he did because I think he knocked me out before I ever uh, realized what happened. The burglar left in Coleman's car, which was later found. This morning, police have some fingerprints that may lead to the burglar's identity. It is 10 minutes after 6 o'clock right now. The very latest happening inside Iraq this morning. The full Senate prepares to begin debate on President Bush's plan to send more troops to Iraq. CBS 4 Susan Roberts has more on what to expect from Washington, D.C. White House, I. Compromise is afoot in the Senate, increasing the likelihood of a big bipartisan vote against President Bush's Iraq troop buildup. Democrat Carl Levin, whose name is attached to the resolution that already passed the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, has joined forces with Republican John Warner, whose competing resolution already has significant Republican support. Levin is dropping language that said the president's strategy is not in the national interest, and Warner will throw out a phrase suggesting Senate support for some additional troops. Their new resolution will add a provision vowing to protect funds for troops in combat, and will now rival the proposal by Republicans John McCain and Lindsey Graham supporting the troop surge as long as Iraq meets clearly defined benchmarks. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid said he wants debate to begin Monday, and the House may now move ahead before a Senate vote. Speaker Nancy Pelosi and colleagues on a recent trip to Iraq sat down with President Bush at the White House Wednesday. I think it was a very constructive meeting. It was respectful uh, and we found some areas of agreement the, uh, in terms of our uh, sizing up what the challenges are there. For his part, the president is acknowledging skepticism in Congress but objecting to the resolutions from Democrats and Republicans. The general who led the war in Iraq for more than two years will be in the hot seat on Capitol Hill today. George Casey is trying to win Senate confirmation to be the next Army Chief of Staff. In Washington, I'm Susan Roberts for CBS 4 News this morning. New this morning, we have new developments overnight in the publicity stunt that turned into a big scare up in Boston. A second suspect has now been arrested in the placement of advertising symbols thought by police to be suspicious devices. Peter Burdovsky here in the yellow shirt and Sean Stevens have been charged with one count of placing a fake device and disorderly conduct. Both men put up several devices. The suspicious packages were found on highways, bridges, even a medical center. The Turner Broadcasting Company has fessed up, saying it was part of a promotional gimmick for a cartoon in 10 cities, though not in South Florida. Criminal charges are now pending. Well, it is 612 right now. Coming up for you in just a minute, Mother Nature continues to pound parts of the country. The very latest weather headaches in our Weather Watch. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. Coming up tonight at 11 on CBS 4 News, South Florida real estate is through the roof, but if you buy a foreclosure, you can get a great deal as long as you know exactly what you're doing. We're revealing how to cash in on real estate's next hot market tonight at 11 on CBS 4 News. The countdown to the big game is on. As part of the celebration, the Dunkin' Donuts sampling ban is bringing free coffee to South Florida. Just visit the participating Brandsmart USA locations listed below. Dunkin' Donuts, America runs on Dunkin'. A top secret performance that left me speechless. And a brilliant invention that makes women look thinner. Oh my goodness. Next Oprah. Today at 4 on 4. So, you got the new free checking account with interest from Regions? Yep. What if you win the million dollars? Well, we'll buy the window treatments for the guest bedroom, and then we'd buy that seven-piece dinette set with a matching baker's rack. And I would totally score the original captain's chair from Space Quest 2. It was Sweet. great. Open the new Regents Free Interest Checking Account, and you could win one of our weekly $10,000 prizes and have a chance to win a million. Hey, Vicky. Everyone look that way. South Florida real estate is through the roof. But if you buy a foreclosure, you can get a great deal, as long as you know exactly what you're doing. CBS 4 News takes you step-by-step step through the process, revealing how to cash in on real estate's next hot market. Tonight at 11 on CBS 4 News. I like it, I like it, I like it all that. Santa Fe Packing Company's Salsa and Con Queso. All natural, delicious on everything. I like it all that. Yeah, I like it on that. 
The countdown to the big game is on. As part of the celebration, the Dunkin' Donut Sampling Van is bringing free coffee to South Florida. Just visit the participating Brandsmart USA locations listed below. Dunkin' Donuts, America runs on Dunkin'. If you see news in the making, dial star CBS4 on your Metro PCS cellular phone. In this morning's weather watch, snow is pounding much of the country right now. It certainly is steady. Snowstorms blanketed Arkansas, making roads everywhere slick and hazardous. Traffic crawled along this highway at a snail's pace. That area expected to get another one to two inches of snow today. Rough weather caused for a slippery situation on a Kansas roadway. At least 20 car accidents were reported in just two and a half hours yesterday. One car ended up in a ditch upside down. You can see the damage from the other cars banged up after sliding all over the road. Crews working double time. Forecasters expect more snowfall today with temperatures touching the low 30s. It's pretty coming down, but once it's on the ground, boy, is it a mess. Messy, messy, messy. Yes, it is. Yeah. The snow is doable. The ice, <coughs> forget about it. That black oh. ice in the morning, like yeah. this hour now up north, everyone's Very heading scary. out with such caution. Yeah. yeah. My well, girlfriend it, in Dallas said on her street there was oh, nothing really? but black ice. They took snowboards snowboarded all up and down the street for hours. It was so cold there. So you can make the most of it. When you're off. Exactly. And I'm talking about the grown-ups, not the kids. Of course, of course. <laughs> we'll take our ice in a glass with an umbrella. There you <laughs> go on South Beach. Looking at around here because it is going to be really warm. So let's take a look. This morning, temperatures on the mild side. Feels good out there. Much warmer than it has been uh, every morning this week, but it feels really nice out. 67 in Pembroke Pines. You know why? Because the air is still comfortably dry. But what we're going to work on that. Right. Right. All right. <laughs> 69 in Pompano. You know, everybody from the early show's coming. Yes. You know, Julie Chen's got like the best hair in oh, TV. Gosh. Let's see how it does on my in Miami. Tomorrow morning, you're going to want to tune in. It could be like that big. It could be. It could be. So that's, that's supportive, isn't it? <laughs> okay, 68 Miami at the airport. I think Harry's will be fine, though. Right. Yeah, well. <laughs> We'll check on that. Both of them, I think, will be great. All right, the radar and satellite picture this morning. <laughs> We're looking okay. We're going to have a few more clouds than yesterday, but I personally didn't see one yesterday, so it's not going to take a whole lot. All right, you know that low 30-degree range we were just talking about? Well, here's the tricky number, 33 in Atlanta. Is it rain? Is it snow? Is it ice? Yes, it has been all of that, and that has been a mess this morning. Now, it is cold enough to sustain the snow, and it is, and more cold air on the way. This is that blast I was telling you about that's going to bring dangerous wind chills across the northern plains and the Great Lakes. Chicago's at 20. Happy to be here. Thank you. Indianapolis at 21 with some snow this morning, so once again, everybody's happy. All right, but in the Tennessee Valley through North and South Carolina, slipping and sliding and icing near Atlanta, so definitely check ahead on any flights today. All right, the winds get gusty around here. That effect at the coast could lead to some dangerous rip currents, so want to get the word out about that. Tomorrow, certainly warm enough to get to the beach, but at least a few showers coming in. The cool stuff stays to the north on Saturday, will be in the low 80s again, and then with a lot of moisture in place, and a pretty strong front interacting. Could be super rainy at times on Sunday, hoping to be done with it by game time. It's certainly not guaranteed, but one thing, we will cool down through Super Bowl night, so you'll take maybe an umbrella and a jacket. All right, 82, probably not allowed to bring umbrellas, but you know, just an idea. Check on that. Rip current risk, southeast winds. That was a memo to you, George. Um, southeast winds at 15 to 20 knots. That breeze keeps us warm tonight at 72. And now, here we go. 85 tomorrow, rather tropical. So with all of that in place, it won't take much to squeeze out a shower. Soggy but super? I'm trying. <laughs> On Super Sunday, soggy. yeah, can't say it looks uh, the best, unfortunately. But again, maybe we could get the rain out of here at least by game time. Okay, Pamela, thank you. Okay. 618 right now. Let's head downtown Miami and traffic. Here's Mark Henry. Hey, good morning. Well, traffic's still not much of a concern on the MacArthur right now. Looking like a pretty easy ride just east of Biscayne. Now, Biscayne itself... Now you got some construction to deal with, a lot of building construction going on as far as uh, actual buildings themselves, a lot of cranes and everything in the area. Just give yourself uh, a little bit extra time through those areas and just kind of be mindful of any detours that might be set up. I'm Mark Henry, CBS4 News Traffic Control. It is 619. Just ahead, we'll hear from a Dolphin legend about what it's like to play in the Super Bowl. You're watching CBS4 News this morning with half the commercials, and we'll be right back.
Lease a brand new 2007 Hyundai Sonata from just $169 a month. $169 a month. Only at Bill Seidel Hyundai. Northwest 36th Street and 32nd Avenue, just 10 blocks east of the airport. Now, through Tuesday only, don't miss the ultimate store-wide mattress sale at Rooms to Go. Not only can you get Rooms to Go expert advice, next day delivery in most markets, plus removal of your old mattress. During this amazing sale, you'll find a huge selection of famous brand mattresses. Whatever firmness you need, each reduced to shocking low prices, prices no one else can beat. So forget department and bedding stores. Hurry to the ultimate store-wide mattress sale at Rooms to Go. Now through Tuesday only. It's a super blowout of savings at Brands Mart USA. Come in today and save big in every department. A 700 watt microwave oven from Hire is twenty four eighty eight after ten dollar mail in rebate. Hot points dishwasher is one thirty eight eighty eight. A washer dryer pair from Roper by Whirlpool is two seven 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 six for the pair. Hot points self cleaning electric range is two ninety eight eighty eight. A no frost refrigerator with ice from Hot Point is two ninety eight eighty eight. And G's twenty five cubic foot refrigerator with crushed ice and filter water is six ninety eight eighty eight. Brands Mart USA, of course, your favorite brands at low low prices. Buy in the Brands Mart way. What's the rush? I overslept. Where's my shoes? My purse? My wings? <laughs> Duh. On me. My, um... Breakfast? Oh. Well, that slowed you down. The simple pleasure of Philadelphia cream cheese spread. Rich, creamy Philly is 25% less saturated fat than butter. Where are you off to anyway? Oh, this is a big white sale. The crowds can be hellish. Philadelphia, a little taste of heaven. It's our annual year-end clearance at Bill Seidel's Kia. With year-end rebates, incentives, and discounts, you could save thousands. Bill Seidel's Kia, Northwest 36th Street and 32nd Avenue, just 10 blocks east of the airport. Right now, we're three days away from the Super Bowl showdown. Dan Marino, the Dolphins quarterback who never really won a Super Bowl, talks about what it's like to play in a big game. And he's also talking to one of his former teammates about it. CBS 4's Kim Bocamper, who's also been to the big game, has the exclusive. Dan Marino came to the Dolphins in 1983 with high expectations, and for the most part, he exceeded every one of them. However, for all the records he set during his 17-year career, he could never quite reach the biggest prize of all, a Super Bowl ring. In the oldest stadium ever to host a Super Bowl, the youngest quarterback ever to start in one completed four of his first five passes. It's been 22 years since Dan Marino lined up in his first and only Super Bowl. A brash 23-year-old out of pit, Danny had just shattered NFL season records with 5,084 yards passing and 48 touchdowns. Still, he fell short in Super Bowl 19, leaving a pain that lingers today. Back at the 15-yard line. Sometimes I dream about having another opportunity and winning that game. That's the one feeling uh, as a football player that I never had. I mean, I, you know, accomplished a lot yeah. of things in my 17 years. I'm in the Hall of Fame, but I didn't know what that felt like to walk off as a quarterback that won a Super Bowl. Backpedaling and launching long, open is Fletcher. He makes the grab inside the 40. The storyline there about Peyton Manning trying to win a Super Bowl, and who knows when he'll get another chance. You spoke to him earlier. What are his thoughts going into this game? Well, I think he, you know, he understands how important it is and what they've all worked for. And you know, when I, I did an interview with him with CBS, and, and he he talked about how it's a team effort. You know, it's it's not just Peyton Manning. Super Bowl 41 could define Peyton's place in history. Meanwhile, Marino will be back in the Super Show, taking his place on the set of the Super Bowl today. We worked all where doing the show all year is great, it's fun, but to know that you're going to be on before the game, four hour pregame show, all the people watching and you're part of the biggest event on television, uh, it, it's pretty special to me. I'm excited about it. Um, uh, you know, I'll start preparing a little yeah. bit the rest of this week and uh, it'll be fun. You worked hard as a player, you work hard doing this also. Uh, you know what? You do not as hard as you do as a player, uh, but you know, basically I just try I'm to you you know, put my doubt thanks, man. Come on. Thanks. I work really hard. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the game, and like everybody else, Dan has an opinion. Super Bowl was big when you played in it. Would you ever imagine how big it's gotten, not only the game, but everything surrounding the football game. Yeah, and it's pretty amazing to see, uh, you know, the show outside the stadium. Uh, we have a four-hour pregame yeah. show, all the things that are involved, uh, the, the great city of Miami being involved. And, um, you know, when we did it, it was big, you know, it was big and it was, it was a lot of fun, but it definitely didn't have the attention you have now. Speaking of here and now, Danny weighs in on the newest Dolphin, Thank head you, coach, Wayne. Cam Cameron. I think that they, 
did a great job in their search and they, you know, they, they left no stone unturned and they interviewed yeah. a lot of people. So you got to feel like, you know, they did a good job, you know, Brian Wiedemeyer and Wayne and, and that they got the right guy for the job. Marino may have come up short when it comes to winning a Super Bowl. However, to everybody that knows him, he will always be a champion in their books. Kim Camper, CBS 4 Sports. Certainly will. And be sure to tune in for our specials leading up to Sunday's big showdown. We are live from Casa Casa Arena, the former Versace mansion tonight and tomorrow at 7. And on Saturday at noon, plus Sports Zone, live on location at 7 p.m. And our game day coverage kicks off at 8 a.m. live from Dolphin Stadium. For a list of all the Super Bowl 41 events, just log on to CBS4.com and check out our special Super Bowl section. And you know what? The early show isn't lost in all of this Super Bowl shuffle. In fact, they have actually set up shop right there on South Beach. They are here. Hannah Storm joins us from South Beach to give us a look at the special coverage they have planned in just a half hour. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. <laughs> oh, I love Miami. It's my vote. I think we're going to move the show here permanently. <laughs> We'd love I to have my, you. I checked into my... Yeah, I checked into my hotel yesterday, and the lady said, you know, five nights. And I was like, is that all? Can't we stay longer? Can we, like, push the Super Bowl back another week so we can all be here for a while? You should but be a special anyways, Miami course. So far. A special Miami correspondent, <laughs> I think, Hannah. Yeah. I, I, I'll take, listen, if there's an opening, just let me know. <laughs> we had fun. We ate at Joe's Stone Crab last night. It was really fun, the whole... Um, the whole gang, so we had a great time. Um, this morning, we're going to show the rest of the country how great South Beach is, why Miami is so hot. Uh, we're going to look at the Art Deco buildings here, um, all over the great restaurants, the nightclubs. We've been doing our due diligence. So anyway, we're going to tell all the folks around the country uh, what a fabulous place this is. Also, I'm going to be, um, well, I already did talk with the two Super Bowl head coaches, so I have a piece on that this morning. Lovey Smith of the Bears, Tony Dungy of the Colts, and as you know, they're making history this week. They're very good friends off the field, and they also have a very unique head coaching style, which is really unlike uh, any other coaches in the NFL. So that's a that's a, a treat to uh, get to chat with those guys. Bobby Flay is with us all week. He spent a lot of time in Little Havana yesterday, had a great time. I mean, he's going to show us what he found. We're going to taste some local food. We're going to make some mojitos. We're going to make some Cuban sandwiches. We should have a lot of fun on the beach. And Dave this morning is over at the NFL Experience. He's going to catch up with some Super Bowl champs from the past. Jim McMahon. And Kevin Butler of the 85 Bears. Remember when McMahon um, mooned the helicopter, the press helicopter that was flying overhead when the Bears won the Super Bowl last time? I don't know if you guys remember that. But he was quite a character. Aww. So anyway, all of that and much more is coming up on the early show. He was so wild. Yeah. And he kept the team really, really loose. And then they destroyed the Patriots Oh boy! Um, well, in New Orleans. We are so happy to have you yeah. here. And I have to say, you're looking very Miami this morning, Hannah. I know. I, I I put the I you know the white suit, the coral. I'm like I'm <laughs> totally into it. Well, we are very excited to have you guys here. Have a wonderful couple hours, and a tomorrow again, and it's going to be fantastic. So welcome to Miami. Yeah, thank you so much. It's beautiful here. Thanks for the nice weather, you guys. Oh, our pleasure. Please, we can do. <laughs> Bye, Anna. All right. Uh, bienvenidos. Bienvenidos a Miami. I'll get it right one day. <laughs> 628 is the time right now. Coming up next for you this morning, how police hope to catch this clever crook who robbed a South Florida adult bookstore before he strikes again. Plus, if lucky enough to be attending the Super Bowl you are, well, we're going to tell you about a special show before the game. All right, before we let you go for a break, let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers from Wall Street. CBS 4 News this morning. We'll be right back. What does every sip of... Live on location at 7 o'clock on Saturday. Game day, what's going on then? Our coverage kicks off at 8 a.m. for you early risers, live from Dolphin Stadium. For a list of all the Super Bowl 41 events, log on to CBS4.com and check out our special Super Bowl section. 6.36 is the time right now. Now let's move on to a CBS4 exclusive. Thieves target customers at a local luxury car dealership. Their personal information was stolen in just a matter of minutes. CBS 4's Tiffany Helberg has this CBS 4 exclusive. Infinity, part of the luxury class. Expensive cars, but not necessarily the most valuable thing here at the Warren Henry dealership. Two thieves had their eyes set on something else back on New Year's Eve. 
Uh, when they first come in the front door, they were asked if they needed assistance. Two women posing as customers told the salesman they were already being helped and made their way around the corner into the employee break room. Again, the salesman approached to help. At which point she said that she did not. She was waiting on her friend who was using the bathroom. Somehow the women then walked back here, surpassing the employee's only private entrance. It's in this location where they jimmied open the, the files and broke open the cabinet and took the files. More than 260 files stolen with personal information of customers' credit card numbers, driver's license numbers, even social security numbers. The next thing you know, she's running out the emergency exit with a box full of files into this getaway car, which is a white uh, BMW with no license plates on it. The thieves sped off and warned employees gave chase but lost them. They contacted police and the Secret Service and, of course, the affected customers. We sent a letter out to those customers right away. Or we provide them with no charge uh, a credit monitoring service for up to a full year. It's an unfortunate circumstance, but, uh, you know, we, we were a victim. Now, there is surveillance video from the day of that theft. We took a look at it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything of value that seems like it would help investigators. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Tiffany Helberg, CBS 4 News this morning. And we're following breaking news right now. A man's in surgery after a shootout with police has happened in Miramar. Police shot him three to four times. It started when police went to a McDonald's because they got reports that a woman was beat up. They got there. She wasn't there. They were told she was at a home nearby, so they went there. Once there, an SUV pulled up with a man and woman inside. The man and woman bolted. The guy started shooting at police, so they fired back. Right now, that man's in surgery. More information throughout the morning. Right now, at 638, a dangerous armed robber is on the loose this morning, and cops hope the surveillance video that helped catch his partners in crime will help bring him in. Police are looking for 23-year-old Ricardo Torres. He, along with a woman, were staking out the Caliente Adult Store in Hialeah. Then minutes later, a third man storms into the store, pointing a gun at the clerk. He's masked. The gunman cleared the cash register while Torres hit the safe. Here he is running out the safe over his shoulder, just like that. The gunman and woman were caught. Torres is on the run right now. If you know where Ricardo Torres is, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. The number, 305-471-TIPS. A frightening fall for a three-year-old Lauder Hill girl. The toddler slipped through the hands of a babysitter and fell three stories yesterday afternoon from the balcony. The little girl was taken to the hospital just as a precaution, believe it or not. A nearby maintenance worker came over to help out and couldn't believe the girl was okay. And she was blessed. I ain't going to say lucky because I don't believe in luck. She was blessed that she landed right. First of all, she landed right. She landed on, like, almost on the side and almost on the stomach. She landed right. God was with her. Police say the girl wandered out onto the balcony, and when the babysitter went to get her, she slipped right through her hands. It's 6.40 on this Thursday morning. Here are the top stories happening across our country. A terrorist plot thwarted in Britain yesterday. While here at home, the Senate gets ready to begin debate on the president's plan in Iraq. Susan Roberts joins us live this half hour now from Washington, D.C. with more on these overnight top stories. Hey, Susan, good morning. Hi there, George. Good morning again to you. We begin in Britain, where police are questioning nine suspects arrested in a counterterrorism sweep there. The raids were carried out at 12 houses and two Islamic bookshops in Birmingham, England. Reports out of there say the suspects allegedly planned to kidnap a British soldier who had returned home after serving in Iraq, kill him, and release the video of the murder on the web. Police say their investigation took months. Two men hired to help with a publicity stunt are finally under arrest in Boston. They're facing charges stemming from planning electronic devices that prompted a major security scare yesterday. The devices turned out to be part of a promotion for a TV show on Turner Broadcasting's Cartoon Network. And that same electronic advertising was placed in nine other cities without incident. Here in Washington, the Senate gets ready to open debate on resolutions opposing President Bush's troop buildup in Iraq. Two lawmakers have decided to join forces. Carl Levin of Michigan had his name attached to the measure passed by the Senate Foreign Relations Committee that said that the president's strategy, strategy that is, was not in the national interest. That language will be dropped to combine the resolution with Republican Senator John Warner's proposal. Warner will give up a provision suggesting Senate support for some additional troops. And that is the news making uh, headlines out of the nation's capital today. I'm Susan Roberts for CBS 4 News this morning.
All right, Susan, thanks so much. 641, let's head outside to the MacArthur Causeway. Here's Mark Henry. Hey, good morning. Well, things still uh, pretty slow out there right now on the MacArthur, which is always a good thing. Just east of Biscayne Boulevard, no real problems to worry about. A little bit of construction going on on Biscayne. Actually, a lot of construction going on on Biscayne. Just kind of watch yourself through the area. Uh, you should be able to get by in most areas of Biscayne, but there are some uh, detours set up here and there as uh, construction trucks come in and out. So just give yourself a little bit of extra time. And also taking a look at 95 north and southbound around the Golden Glades. Here's where you're going to need lots of time. Southbound lanes between 151st Street and 62nd Street. Might even want to think about heading over to 441 as your alternate. Northbound lanes actually pretty busy this time in the morning. Uh, got a little bit going on there. Uh, maybe everybody heading toward the stadium there to get ready. Who knows? But uh, also taking a look at, not at the Dolphin Expressway eastbound and westbound. Eastbound lanes just about at a standstill right now. Westbound lanes not doing too bad. I'm Mark Henry, CBS4 News, Traffic Control. Let's go ahead and talk to Pamela Wright about the weather. Some changes for the weather and yes. some warnings for the weather. Yes, exactly. Uh, the warnings are limited to the water right now. And as warm as it's going to be and as popular as we are um, swimming in the ocean, we do want you to know there are some advisories out there. All right, here we go. Looking at the scene of the crime right here. Um, <laughs> Uh, 69 degrees as we look over the stadium this morning. That's a lot of light. Imagine what the power bill is. And who pays it? Well, Mr. White, Wayne Huizinga just writes a check. <laughs> Don't think so. To the FP and the L. All right, this morning, <laughs> let's talk about the numbers because those have been very comfortable out there. 67 in Opelika, 70 Fort Lauderdale. That's our warm spot except for you in the Keys, where we find the lower 70s. West Kendall at 67, and Homestead, a comfortable 68. It, there is a nice breeze. It has been gustier already close to the coast, and that will be the case through the day today and tomorrow, staying very windy and with an east and southeast breeze, number one drawing up more moisture, more humidity, and plenty of warm air, but also the steady onshore flow promotes the development of the rip currents. So stay where the lifeguards are. It's the short story there. All right, plenty chilly in the southeast, temperatures in the 30s. It's where they're close to the freezing mark that makes it tricky, so we'll get into that. But as we head to the north and Chicago and Indianapolis, well, if the players were home, had they lost their games, uh, there's a lot of snow in those two cities this morning and temperatures are in the lower 20s. So we see that snow around the Great Lakes and down to the south, the Tennessee Valley up to Washington, D.C. It's all snow. Most of North Carolina getting a big dose today and upstate of South Carolina. So not a real typical situation for them for February 1st. All right, we are warm by our February standards as well and in fact, so much so we could be near record highs tomorrow, which would put us near the mid 80s with breezy showers coming in. Moisture continues to increase on Saturday. We'll stay in the 80s and then we're watching this next front because ahead of it will moisten up. We'll ring out the showers as we get into Super Bowl Sunday and at times it could be super rainy. So I wish we could be a little more definitive. The best thing would be if this blows through and is out of here by game time, but still a good likelihood that the rain will be around, but the temperatures are really going to drop behind this front. So let's look at it. 82 today, no more than a stray shower. Winds turning gusty, especially at the coast. Now on the water, the rip current risk that's in place and very likely we'll have some advisories for you boaters over the next few days as well. Tonight, a quick shower, a tropical breeze. It's a good combination, 72. How about tomorrow? There's that tropical warmth, warm shower Saturday, but George will likely only touch the mid 70s on Sunday before that cooler air starts coming in and we'll find the temperatures much cooler, uh, close to 60 by Sunday night. So you might have to take quite a variety of uh, apparel items <laughs> to the Super Bowl because it could be raining and then turning cooler. And the apparel items are allowed. However, we did some checking. We talked yes. earlier about umbrellas. Right. Can't take umbrellas into the Super Bowl right. or anything inflatable. Like fireworks and the, the beach balls too and all that stuff. So just letting you know. Thank you, Pamela. All right, 646 right now. Three days and counting to the South Florida Showdown. It's no secret that pregame and halftime shows are part of the game's big appeal. One of the acts making headlines the amazing acrobats from Cirque du Soleil. Cirque's pregame show is sure to wow everyone, football fan or not. CBS4's Karen Brown's in Miami with more on the big show. 
We are here on a yacht this morning because Miami is all about water, and this is how many of the rich and famous will be spending their week leading up to Super Bowl. So come take a look inside this two and a half million dollar yacht. The Water Fantasies Company rents it out for about $10,000 a day. You can see how amazing it is. Now, a celebrity is supposed to be renting it out later this week, but uh, they're protecting that person's privacy, so we don't know who it is. But the great thing about the Super Bowl is that you don't have to have a yacht. All you have to do is tune in, and you too can have a front row seat to one of the best shows around. Stand by and rolling. Even if you've seen Cirque du Soleil before, you've never seen anything quite like this. A football-inspired pre-game tribute. Think field goal and you'll start to get into the swing of it. Basically, the, the idea was to celebrate football and celebrate Miami. That was, that was the project. The Montreal-based troupe gave us a sneak peek of their high-flying extravaganza during a practice session near Dolphin Stadium. This is a once-in-a-lifetime show. The Super Bowl is the only time it will be performed. And with a potential worldwide audience of one billion people, the pressure is on. Jonathan Brochu is one of the 350 performers who combine dance, gymnastics, and circus-like stunts and make it all look like a breeze. It's like any other thing, just it's a question of practice. For some local artistic flair, Cirque brought in famous Miami-based artist Romero Brito. So it's all about excitement, love, peace, colors, positiveness, all good stuff in life. He'll splash South Florida onto the canvas of Dolphin Stadium, where the football players won't be the only ones hurtling through the air. All of the big performers are holding press conferences today. You have Cirque du Soleil, you have Billy Joel who's singing the national anthem, and then you also have Prince. But here's the amusing part. Prince is not going to uh, actually answer questions during his press conference. He's just going to perform because he believes his music speaks for itself. In Dania, Florida, I'm Karen Brown. Now back to you. All right, thank you, Karen. Be sure to tune in for our Super Bowl specials leading up to Sunday's big showdown. We're going to be live from Casa Casa Arena, the former Versace Mansion, tonight and tomorrow at 7 o'clock on Saturday at noon as well. Plus, Sports Zone live on location at 7 o'clock on Saturday. And our game day coverage kicks off at 8 o'clock in the morning, live from Dolphin Stadium. For a list of all the Super Bowl 41 events, just log on to CBS4.com and check out our Super Bowl special section. Don't forget My 33 News on the moves on the way. Beyonce may have missed out on an Oscar nomination, but the star is being named Tops for something else. Coming up all new at 7 a.m., we're going to explain why the honor means the bootylicious singer will never be lonely again. Okay, well, the time right now is 649. Just ahead for you this morning, if you are planning on heading out to South Beach, be prepared to deal with some extra traffic. We'll explain this one. Some crooks hit up a car dealership, but it wasn't the cars they were after. Plus, another arrest in that Boston security scare. Why investigators say this publicity stunt went too far. Here's a look at Lotto. Good luck. You're watching CBS 4 News this morning. Keep watching. At H&R Block, you can walk in with your taxes and walk out with a loan check. Up to $9,999, subject to your refund amount. At H&R Block, nobody does it faster. Instant money refund anticipation loan. When you got H&R Block, you got people. A real meal on a weeknight? What a shocker. Pick up 10 KFC drumsticks and thighs, the juiciest, most flavorful chicken, now only $7.99. And don't forget the Wednesday special, KFC Chop, $1.99. Bring back dinner at KFC. Living in South Florida just got better. Lease a brand new 2007 Cadillac Escalade or Hummer H2 for only $5.49 per month. Vera Cadillac Hummer, Pembroke Pines. There are many reasons to love Ooh. someone. Hi, honey. Because she's your mother. Stop being a helicopter mom. You're hovering. Because they're your sisters. We're going to rock, paper, scissors to see whose house mom's going to stay at. <gasps> oh, you win, Mills. That's great. Because she's your daughter. You ought to button those buttons. You look like you're asking for it. I am asking for it. And sometimes just... Because I said so. Because I said so. That was on a Hallmark card we gave you. Because I said so. Rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow. 
From scratch? You know what kind you want? I want a shape like a heart. Like a heart? Who's this for? Mom. Okay. Well, I'll get the measuring cup and we'll get started. Does she know you like her? I guess. Clean off the edge. <laughs> Watch this. I know, let's put her name on it. Yeah. Okay, you better hurry up. I'm gonna pick you up outside right at three o'clock. Bye, Mom. Bye. Oh wait, you forgot your cake. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. At H&R Block, you can walk in with your taxes and walk out with a loan check. Up to $9,999, subject to your refund amount. At H&R Block, nobody does it faster. Instant money refund anticipation loan. When you got H&R Block, you got people. At 6.52, let's take a quick look at some of today's top stories before you head out the door. This morning, thousands of extra bodies will flood South Beach today for the biggest sporting event of the year. And it's happening in just minutes. Ocean Drive is going to shut down between 5th and 15th Street. The street will remain closed until Sunday. The closure is because of the Motorola Mile that portrays the history of the Super Bowl in South Florida. There will be plenty of celebrities and exhibits like an interactive football field. 80-year-old Virginia Coleman has a swollen eye, a gash on her chin, and several bruises. Take a look at her there. She actually walked in on an intruder. She just arrived home from church when she was attacked inside her own home. The burglar actually left in Coleman's car, which was later found. This morning, police have some fingerprints that they hope will lead to the burglar's identity. 6.53 right now. We have a fatal accident out on the roads. Um, let's go ahead and check in right now with Mark Henry, who's following the details to that part of the story. Hey, Mark. Right. We'll go right here, uh, George, taking a look. This is a live shot. This is over Collins Avenue, southbound at Northwest 97th Street. This accident happened quite a bit earlier, but uh, what it looks like what happened, the van hit a tree in front of the Bow Harbor shops here. Uh, now, unfortunately, the, there's a fatality involved in this one. Now, one lane is open southbound, so things are getting by, but you can imagine there's a lot of activity in the area. A lot of investigation going on and uh, you definitely want to give yourself plenty of extra time on Collins. We head on over to one of the other side streets, but uh, right in front of the Bow Harbor shops here, um, one lane is open. Northbound lanes actually are getting by uh, with uh, onlooker delays, but everything in that area starting to get opened back up. Now, let's take a look at 95 north and southbound around the Golden Glades Interchange. Heavy delays heading southbound between 151st and 62nd Street. Your northbound lane's getting by okay. We're going to shift gears, take a look at some drive times here for you before you head on out the door. 595, you're going to be heading eastbound uh, between 75 and 95. Going to take you about 18 minutes. South Dixie Highway northbound between Kendall Drive and 95. That ride's going to run about 21 minutes for you. Palmetto Expressway, if you're going to be heading southbound, uh, it's his backed up. 75 to the Dolphin. It's going to take you about 24 minutes to make that run. You might want to head on over to the Turnpike on that one as your southbound alternate. I'm Mark Henry, CBS 4 News Traffic Control. We'll have more for you over on My 33 after 7 o'clock. We sure will, Mark. Thank you so much. This morning, one of two women who stole customers' information from luxury car dealerships is under arrest. One of the dealerships scammed was the Infinity branch of Warren Henry Automotive Group in North Miami-Dade. Two women posing as customers stole more than 260 files with personal information of customers, including credit card numbers, driver's license numbers, even social security numbers. Customers have been notified and given free credit monitoring services. A second suspect has been arrested in the placement of advertising symbols throughout Boston that were thought to be suspicious devices. Peter Berdovsky, you saw him there in the yellow shirt, and Sean Stevens have been charged with one count of placing a fake device and disorderly conduct. Both men put up several devices. The packages were found on highways, bridges, and even a medical center. The Turner Broadcasting Company fessed up, saying it was all part of a promotional gimmick for a cartoon. Criminal charges are pending. 6.56, let's head to Pamela Wright and a check of weather. 
Hey you two, things look pretty good out there this morning. We're finding breaks in the clouds. Temperatures are quite nice. Those temperatures, well, they are on the way up. So we do expect to get into the low 80s today and also on the increase, the winds rather gusty as the day goes. And of course, near the water and on the water, that may change your plans. Rip current risk, it is going to get high as the day goes on. So go to a beach with a lifeguard, please. Seas at three to five and a moderate chop up on the bay with the southeasterly breeze. So that is a tropical breeze that will come on in tonight and will just bring us a quick shower. But look at the temperatures closer to our daytime highs. Our overnight lows are going to stay in the low 70s. There we see it. Warm stuff tomorrow, mid 80s. And wish I could take that rain chance out of there for Super Bowl. But we do count on at least part of that day being pretty soggy. It beats football in the snow. It certainly does. This. Right. <laughs> Although the frozen tundra was a pretty good bowl. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Early point. show next. In fact, they're right here in Miami. Looking forward to seeing them now. We're going over to My 33. Have a great day.